Hey everyone, Robbie the Painter here. Welcome back to the beginner series. This is going to be episode number five. We started with a simple painting on episode number one, and we just kept adding to it, adding to it, and adding to it. And hopefully you're learning something that you can add to your painting at home. Even if you're not following along with this one, and you, you know, you're going to do a future painting, I'm hoping I'm showing you stuff that you can add in your painting. And with that in mind, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's pick up where we left off. Let's grab my liner brush. A little bit of paint thinner, a little titanium white. So I come to the edge, and it falls over. Over to the edge, falls over. And when the water falls over, it splashes. takes off that direction. That's the direction our water's flowing. To the edge and over. Maybe there's a rock in there. Let's come into some black. Let's put a rock right out in here. right in here, right there, we got a few rocks in there. All right, I think that's good for that part. Let's work on this, this area, this hill here. How are we going to make this look uh, right with this river and that light against dark, dark against light. Remember, we, we've got a light sky, and then you've got some distant trees, which stands out against it. We've got this yellowy area, makes that look farther back. And then we've got some dark trees, light against dark, dark against light, really adds a lot to your painting. Even if you stopped at where we were at on episode two with this painting, just a couple of hills, a couple of trees, and a sky. Even if you stopped there, that would be a good painting. If you want to take it just a step farther, we start adding little elements, light against dark, dark against light, and it really starts to add to your painting. Kind of seeing something with these bushes too. Let's grab a little white, come into this sap green, and mix up a, a light, real light green here. Top of these bushes maybe. I'm skipping a little bit. I'm adding a little, little color. Sometimes the side of, maybe turn your brush sideways. And we're not being real precise on where to put it, but don't do it all in the same spot. Like I said, skip a little bit and put some highlight on. Skip a little bit. Put some highlight on. Let's make this edge over here kind of light. Let's grab a little of that yellow color we mixed up. A little green, a little yellow, a little titanium white. And let's brighten up the top of this hill. I'm going to come right. Maybe the sun's the sun's hitting this hill. Before we do the top of this hill, I just realized that our river needs needs a little more Prussian blue. Grab some Prussian blue. Let's make sure our river comes right up to that hill. Need a little titanium white. some foamy stuff with this white while I'm here. Oh, 
let's see. And then this right here is supposed to be blue. Right down here. A little bit of sandbar there. Let's take that. I'm not sure where this, this hill, where I'm redrawing it. So I wanna make sure I've got enough water right here, back here. Now we'll redraw our trees. Just put a little foamy stuff in. Kind of looks like movement. Okay, let's go back to our hill. I said this is going to be a quick episode, and I think it's going to be one of the longer ones by the time I'm done. I'm showing you guys all this cool stuff you can do to a simplified painting, you know, really change it. We're gonna tackle this side over here. I want this yellowy green color for the top of this hill. Like, like the sun might be really hitting it right here. And if it's too too bright, too yellowy, you know, we'll we'll change it. We didn't draw a shoreline on this other side, but I'm not sure we can see it from where we're standing. If this hill here is, is up above and we're looking down at the river, I have to think about that in my head. What is that gonna look like? <laughs> What's our perspective? I wasn't trained for that. So I just have to do something and see if it looks right a lot of times. And I kind of have an idea what I think will look right in my head. Let's make that a little browner. Let's go ahead and mix up, see if we can get this sandbar uh, color right there that we did on that side. Yeah, there we go. I just added a little Van Dyke brown and white to that same mix we were just using. Just gonna draw a shoreline down here by this, this side of the river. Let's rinse that off, grab our green color. This might be a little too bright. Let's take our hill. And come right down here. You notice I'm not going over that light sandbar area. That's down below us. Okay. Gonna darken this up a little bit, a little of that midnight black, some of the green. Closer things get to you, the darker they get. So I think we're gonna darken up this whole area here because it's the closest hill to us. So I'm gonna grab my bigger flat brush, dip into a little paint thinner, come into that green and black, that dark color. To be careful with your paint thinner. You don't want your paints running off the off the canvas. You can always take a paper towel if you get too much thinner and you see your paints are running. Take a paper towel, just blot it or wipe it, and then repaint. There's there's a will, there's a way. You can fix it. All right. Maybe a little darker along this edge. I'm gonna flick up down here. That dark I just put on. Give the indication down by the water there. There's some some stuff happening. The more I look at this back here where this yellow is, I think I want to expand that. Grab some white, come over here, Indian yellow. Let's bring that yellow over this way just a little bit. That lighter color. I think it'll really separate this background 
from the middle and the foreground, I think. A little white, a little yellow. Just adding a little bit, a little more highlight. Maybe along this little ridge here. Stand back, see what it looks like. Don't want to spend too much time on it. I just was standing back and looking at that. I like this on this side. I wanted it to continue over here. Let's move forward. Anything on this middle middle area we want to do. I see something else that I want to uh, add. Just a little detail. This sandy color here down by the, uh, the river's edge. I want to add a little more down to the point where this comes down by this tree cluster. Maybe it's a little sandier uh, down there. So I still have a little bit of that color down here, which is the uh, Van Dyke brown and white. Let's just make this a little sandier. I know it's a little thing, but when I stood back, I was, I was thinking down here by the water's edge as it gets flatter, you've got that favorite fishing spot as you get down closer to the water, it's like all sand. The greenery stops back here and the trees stop back here a little ways. And then you've got this sandy area. You set your little folding chair up and throw your fishing line out there. So that's what I was seeing. Let's move forward some more. Let's draw these trees back in. So that's our sap green midnight black. A little bit of paint thinner. Gonna go on the darker side, so look, maybe a little more black than green. That real pretty dark green. Okay, let's draw this trunk back in. Let's draw this one back in. Now, we can switch to a fan brush to do our limbs, or we can stick with this flat brush and just tap our, our limbs in. And if we tap them, we're just gonna do this. And I'm saying this tree is behind this one, so I'm gonna do the one furthest away first. That's enough right there. Grab some more, a little black, a little green. Let's add a limb over here to this one. Get that, the tree trunk at the bottom, and the roots drawn out. I want a dark green, but not quite that dark. Let's bring it over here. Just fill in some of this, a little darker because the closer you get, the closer we come forward, the darker things get. I'm just gonna darken in some of this here. If it doesn't look good, we can always go back and lighten, lighten it up. I'm gonna go into straight black. Let's put our shadow back down under this tree or these two trees. I'm just going back and forth, left and right, getting smaller here because the top of the tree would be down here, like a mirror image of, of this. And we're not gonna be precise. We just wanna make sure it's smaller the shadow is smaller at the top here, a little wider as it gets down here. And there's our shadow. This one's pretty close to the front of the painting, but we'll put a kind of a dark shadow right here. I'm thinking there might be a little path for you to walk down by the water's edge over here so you can get down there. That's what I'm thinking. Let's rinse our brush off. 
Let's mix up maybe a tannish color for our path. So that would be white, brown. We'll start off a little on the light side. And let's see, where's our path coming from? Maybe it, it comes up this way towards us. All right, we're gonna bring our path up here. As I'm looking at this, I'm trying to figure out another cool thing we can do to show you how to just make some interesting things happen in your painting. So I want this path to start out small down here because that, that river's down, down a ways. These trees are close. How do we make that river look farther away and that? Well, we, we start out with a little tiny path and we stop right here and then we get real big with the path, like it's coming up over the hill. It's our little fish fishing path. Just gonna scrub in a little bit on this side, a little on that side. Stand back, maybe a little yellow. straight white or mostly straight white. I'm just dragging my flat brush across here. Now, you're probably saying, well, why is it so small here and so wide here? That doesn't look right. It does if it's coming up over the hill. So how do we make that look like it's coming up over a hill? We have to separate light and dark. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna change our terrain. Down here where this small path is, we're gonna bring this light green over. Let's make up some light green. A little bit of titanium white sap green. Let's see, is this light? That's fairly light. Let's bring this light green over to the path, near the path. Come from this side, light green. Now let's come over here, this side. Let's go into that really dark tree color, sap green, midnight black. Let's come along this edge here. We're gonna separate that light green and this darker color. Going into straight midnight black, might lighten this up. Okay, let's rinse our brush off. Dark Sienna, titanium white, very little dark Sienna. This almost looks white. It's a dirty white. Let's start there. I want it to be pretty light. And let's say our path is right. Comes up and over the hill. Make a little brown, come to the edges, and scrub in a little brown here near the edge. Maybe wipe off the brush, pull that dark sienna down towards the path, center of the path. Maybe we can just take some of this, this dark color over here and pull it down. I'm kind of giving it a little curve. You ever look at a, a fishing path or a hiking path or whatever? You know, the path usually dips in the middle and comes up on both sides. Usually gets a little darker near the, the grassy area. And then your lightest part of your path will be in the center most times. And a little, little brown on the edges, keeping the center a little lighter. Let's grab our little round brush. I don't think we even need any thinner. Let's come into this dark tree color, the, the green, the black. We're gonna put some little grassy things that are sticking out into the path. Not everywhere, but here and there. Little grassy stuff that's hanging over 
on the edge of the path. Same thing, pulling color and just making little, little grass hanging over the edge of the path. I'm going to feather that back, get rid of these, some of these brush strokes. I could grab a bigger brush. I think I can just feather those back into the, into the grass there. Stand back and see if there's any areas that might need, you know, something hanging over. And the idea is the path starts way down here by the river. And then you come up here and up and over the hill and the path gets wider the closer it gets to us. That's the idea. I think that's where we're going to stop today. We're going to, we're going to stop and uh, we've done quite a bit. We added a mountain, a lot of details, added more distance more perspective all the way up to this path that comes kind of in your face we took that you know that simple painting that we had and look at everything we added to it you don't have to use everything that i showed you i'm just trying to think of different things that you can add in your own painting whether your trees are over here or you've got a big mountain or three mountains or whatever you might see something that i did here on this one and apply it to your painting and i'm showing you how to do you know, how to make these little uh, features and, and details. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for hanging out with me. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I will see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.